Cassidy Deputy here at AncientMedicineCabinet.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Elder Echinacea Tincture. Um, something unique about our company is that we handcraft all of our products. We are not one of those pyramid scheme companies that get our products shipped to us and then we just resell them. We actually um, hand make all of our products. So. Um, I do all of the herbs and the tinctures. I've been studying herbs for well over a decade. And um, so what goes into our Elder Echinacea tincture is we use all organic herbs in all of our products. So in this tincture specifically, I put Echinacea purpura herb and root, as well as elder flowers. Um, and the reason for this, let me look at our um, website listing here is that echinacea raises the body's natural resistant to infection by stimulating and aiding the immune system. It actually increases the white blood cell count, the T cells, which is the body's first line of defense. Now, echinacea is also an antifungal and an antibacterial. It's known for alleviating bronchial, respiratory, and throat infections as well as discomfort. So it is a pretty um, powerful herb, which is why it's so well known and there's so many supplements with echinacea. Now elder is a natural diaphoric, which means it induces sweating. So it actually will open up your pores and induce your body to sweat out um, whatever's going on, which assists in lowering fevers. But it's also known for its immune enhancing properties. It is a very, very powerful antiviral, the elder flower are. Um, which is perfect for treating the flu, herpes, shingles, upper respiratory infections, I mean you name it, and that herb is great for that. Um, now something I want to talk about is our label has a recommended dosage chart right on there, if you can see that, but that's just recommended. If you are familiar with herbs or have used herbal tinctures before, these are not essential oils. You do not diffuse them. You take them orally. So they have a dropper. Here's the dropper. And if you see, you squeeze the tincture out. So basically what this is, is a very concentrated herbal remedy. Similar to how you would drink a cup of tea or take an herbal capsule. But this is very concentrated. Um, so how we use this is... It actually comes in three sizes, and I will tell you why this is important in a minute. We have, turn to the camera, we have a one ounce, a two ounce, and a four ounce. Now, the one ounce is great for slipping in your purse, your pocket, your whatever, diaper bag. The, t the two ounce is great for throwing on your shelf in your medicine cabinet or taking, you know, with your vitamins. And then the four ounce we sell for our you know, customers that take this regularly throughout the year or have a lot of kids or a large family. Um, so naturally, my family uses the four ounce. So how we take this, there's four ways that we recommend taking this tincture. Number one is like a daily supplement. You can take it one to two times every single day. Year round, doesn't matter. Um, another way you can take this is as a seasonal supplement. So this is how my family takes it from about September till May, so roughly the school year, the flu season um, here in Minnesota, we take this two to three times a day. So I will just line my kids up and give them a dropper full, I don't measure it, a dropper full every meal. Um, one thing that's great about these tinctures and about herbal remedies, typically, with all the herbal remedies we sell, is you really can't overdose on them. They're very safe. They're potent, yes, but they're not like regular Western drugs where you have to be worried about, oh, my kid drank half the bottle. Is, you know, is he going to be okay? Yes, we've had this happen to our, ourselves many times. So that's one thing I love about these. In fact, I find the more that I use, the more effective that it becomes. Which brings us to the third way you can use this. You can use elder echinacea as a warding off mechanism. So I carry this around with me everywhere. So if we encounter sick kids or I encounter a sick person at the store, I can pull this out and I can give my kids a double dose just to rev up their immune systems and get these herbs into their body to help fight um, whatever's coming on. Um, and the fourth way that we usually recommend using this is to shorten an illness. So if you already are sick and you start taking this every 30 minutes to an hour, 
throughout the day or whenever you think about it, it will dramatically shorten the amount of time that you're ill. Um, I would say, I would say as far as two to four days faster, you would get better than those around you who also caught the same illness. So those are kind of the four ways we recommend taking this tincture. Um, as far as price goes, we really try to keep our prices low, but very high quality, which is great, um, which makes us good competitors, I think, for like natural food stores around you for getting tinctures. So our one ounce is considered, we call this our sample size. So if you're just wanting to try it out, see what it tastes like, see how it goes, this is our sample size. He's one ounce and he's only $6. So if you order through our shop, I think it's roughly $8 and a quarter, including shipping and tax to get the sample size, This the, uh, the one ounce here. This two ounce guy is $12 and this big guy is 22. So that actually saves you $2 from buying two of these guys. So that's kind of how it works. That's how it's made. That's how we use it. And that's how much it costs. Um, like I said, all the herbs we use are organic. I personally handcraft, strain, and bottle every single batch. So I can guarantee that they're potent, they're pure, they're clean. I sanitize everything um, myself. So I know exactly how these products are handled. So go ahead and check out ancientmedicinecabinet.com and grab your Elder Echinacea tincture today. Thanks and God bless.